Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing of the Surface Touch Cover. Now this is designed to work with Surface RT as well as the Surface Pro Tablet, and it's really just a matter of which one you own. In my case, it will be the Pro version. Uh, I am partial to that because it is a full-featured computer in a tablet form factor. With that said, these are really pricey accessories, and Microsoft should have included these, or at least bundled them, at a heavily discounted price for those uh, picking up the Pro version, in my opinion. Uh, the packaging, kind of funky, much like the uh, Surface tablet, but I do appreciate the fact that they've gone with plastic tabs that generally do make these products substantially easier to open than what I've experienced in the past from similar products. So let's go ahead and get this out. And I did go with the touch cover. I think a lot of people will go with the type cover. It's a little bit more expensive. It's priced at, uh, I believe, 130. This is 120. And in terms of pricing, I mean, it's a very marginal difference. This is clearly more of the gimmick because you don't have the tactile feel of buttons. Uh, I'm going to see how it works out for me. If I'm not comfortable, I could always make the switch over uh, to the type cover rather than the touch. But clearly a matter of personal preference. I still don't see this uh, device necessarily being a pure business machine, so that's why I was inclined to go with the novelty. For those of you who are students or really looking to use it uh, for true business, uh, then you probably should stick with the go, you know, going with the type cover rather than the touch. So this is, as you guys noticed, the blue version comes in several different color variations. Black, uh, I think I saw uh, pink and orange. So you've got a lot of different options. Uh, black is what I would have preferred. This was all that was available, fortunately enough. Blue and black, not a terrible contrast there. Uh, so that, that works out. But let's go ahead and see how it docks. does use that proprietary. Uh, port right there as you guys can see and as many of you have already seen from uh, the flood of commercials that Microsoft has been running for the uh, Surface as well well we haven't seen ads yet for the Pro as I try to get the the tablet to come back on basically there we go it's something where uh, there you go it just snapped right in much like you see in the ads, and it is locked in. Now, often they do show you that it, the magnetic uh, enclosure there uh, is strong enough to hold the tablet, and there's the test, much like I see them swinging it around all the time uh, in demos. So it is strong enough, and I wouldn't recommend that. You can close it up, and you know, it seems like a nice product. Uh, the only thing I question is whether or not it really went far enough beyond the kickstand to provide a substantial uh, platform to actually do work on. And that's why I say I'm not really convinced yet that this can do or be a practical business machine, even though it has the innards and the high quality screen to double as one. So it's going to be really a matter of ergonomics. We'll see how it performs. I do like it. That's why I picked it up. Hopefully it works out and uh, is a winner. But overall, really liking the construction on this tablet so far. And I think that whether you go with the type or touch, uh, of course, again, this is the touch in blue. I think they are good options. I just wish Microsoft uh, would lower the price on these. But then again, you have to remember, these are all built from the ground up. Microsoft, a big gamble, even though they are a very large company uh, making a product like this. This is their first PC and, of course, their first line of accessories to accommodate uh, this brand new uh, niche that they've put themselves into. But anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.